getting that depth so well. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> a little bit lucky, like because you know I. I didn't really know what I was getting into with Mike. I, I had an idea after talking to him, and I knew those guys fairly well, but they're both really young, Avdi and, and Luis. Um, they had a good year last year, so I, it was a pretty big risk, and, and it just turned out that me and Mike really vibe, and I really like his training. It, it's exactly what I need, and he's really open to to working with me. So it, it was a little bit lucky and a little bit of a, I got a good feeling about it. You know? Does this win yeah. validate that decision, or has what you've already done this year validated it? Like, what do you think? Uh, I don't think so, not yet. You know, <laughs> I, I think there's still a lot of work to be done. I still have another 5K. Um, there's still Worlds, and I, I want to do all there. And, uh, I don't think the decision... Yeah, I don't think the decision was... I'm not trying to validate the decision. I'm just trying to keep racing, I guess. You know, I think that's... that's just trying to do the best I can. Do you feel stronger than in yeah. previous years? Huh? Do you feel stronger than in previous years? Uh, I feel really strong. Yeah, I, this is probably... I'm 30 years old, and, like, I've never felt this strong this late in the race. And, and just, like, training every day, I know that I can... I'm doing more miles. I'm doing, like, longer, better workouts, so... In a lot of ways, I feel really, really strong, but I'm also really tired. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's 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 straight off. Yeah. And do you feel like that feeling stronger late in the race is that a product of upping your mileage, doing double threshold, or is that an accumulation of all the training you've done in your life to this point? I think it's both, man. I, most of it is the training I've done my whole life. Like even on Bowerman, I was always like, I would try and get more miles in, and and this is a lot easier way to do that to get higher volume. Um, but it's accumulation. I mean, even at Portland, I was a higher compared to other colleges. I was a higher volume than, than other people, but um, you know, I've had my injuries and, and that wasn't, I wasn't doing high volume when I was hurt. So I've kind of, I've had kind of like a high volume, no volume kind of career. And in this case, it's, it's a really sustainable way of training. Yeah. Did you uh, talk to Sean and Grant, you know, former teammates either before or after the race, say anything to them? Yeah. 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 I was really happy for Sean. And, you know, I, I, I thought, I didn't know Grant was fourth and I went, congratulated him and he's like, yeah, thanks. Good race. And I'm like, oh, this but, <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I was happy. Like, Sean, Sean was injured, I know, and he came back from an injury to make the team is really hard. That's a hard team to make. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go cool down with him. I'm excited. And in, indoors, you said, you know, you've been training with the Flagstaff guys, with Mike Smith, but weren't 100% committed to being with them, you know, long term. Has that changed? Are you, like, you a full-fledged member of the group now? Yeah, I'm finally on the group chat. I went to Mike. I went to Mike and my like, dude. So my like in March, I'm like, you have to put me on the group chat. So yeah, I'm on the group chat. I'm I'm with them for the long term. And yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it changing. Yeah. yeah. And the race itself did it play out how you thought it would tonight? I think it played out how I hoped it would. You know, I think there are a lot of ways it could have gone. Ch Chalimo is. I'm like this guy could. You know, he ran 27:12 on his own a couple like a month ago now. Or was that two couple months ago? Now? Two months. Yeah. Two months ago. So I thought maybe he could do something, but uh, yeah, played out, as it played out, it it, uh, it was it was easy to engage. Yeah. And the bell? Are you thinking I got this? With the no, 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 no. I, I, I with the bell, I knew I was on the team, but I didn't know if I was gonna win. But uh, yeah, I was like, I, there's no way I'm not making the team at the bell. But I'm gonna try and get Grant. And then when, when I came up on him with 200, I was like, guys, ah, game over. My turn. <laughs> My turn. All right, and you'll be back for the five, I assume, on Sunday. Yeah, that's 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 going to be even harder. So that's, why do you think that'll be harder? I mean, there's just more people, and and a lot of these. I mean, there's a couple guys in here that ran this race, but we got Morgan's Beals come, we got Abdi Nur, we got some some seal, some some big hitters that did, are fresh. Yeah, like did yeah. you ever consider only doing one event this meet, given that it's a pretty quick turnaround? Yeah, actually, yeah, I, I'm like the five. I really enjoy the five more. And I was like, I want to be all in the five this year because I'm going to try both next year. And Mike kind of talked me out of that. He was like, hey, you, not too many people can do both. And you should take advantage of that. I'm like, you're right. It's good. And I'm glad I did. He was good advice. So, so he talked you into running both events here then? I think he suggested it. Yeah. Gotcha. What does it yeah. look like for you in these few days between the two events? Is there anything special you do with preparation? 
Uh, well, <laughs> no, not really. There's not much you can really do other than, you know, you have a hard workout and you just kind of remember, okay, what are those times I've had work, two hard workouts in a week? And uh, I think it's more mental preparation than physical. Like you just have to, you have to get as much rest as you can, but you, you have to mentally re-engage re for a 5K, which is hard. I mean, I, the way I see it is just like, yeah, second time. You've done workouts where he's like, I can't do this workout in two days. And you do it, right? And that's kind of how I look at it. Yeah. Do you consider yourself to have a rivalry with Joe Klecker? You guys have, you know, been battling a few times this year. <laughs> Is it a rivalry if you haven't lost him? Like, I, <laughs> I mean, no, I don't. But uh, I like, I mean, what I like about Joe is he's very consistent. And I know if Joe's right there, I, it's kind of like a little, it's almost like a safety. It's like, ah, I mean, Joe, I know this guy's tough as nails. And if I'm, if I'm with him, we're in a good place. But I'm sure he looks at me probably the same. It's like, oh, Woody's right on me. He knows what's going on, right? So, I don't know. <laughs> That's not a rivalry, per se. Well, yeah, but I didn't know if you have, like, do you have much of a relationship with him or not? Or do you just see him at these meets? No, nah, I just see him at the meets. Yeah. Maybe one day. You know, for sure. Well, congratulations.